District North Penn Wind Ensemble Concert tonight. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Anthony Rosado. And just a little bit of background about me. I'm basically a parent just like you tonight, enjoying this phenomenal concert, what will be a phenomenal concert. A little background in regard to the fact that um, I've been the North Penn High School Marching Nights announcer for the past seven years and have had the pleasure of witnessing and being a part of that over the past seven years. Why is that? Well, one reason is that my daughter, Maria, uh, who is now a senior at Westchester University studying music education, was a drum major for the North Penn Marching Nights and absolutely participated in the wind ensemble and various other ensembles here at North Penn High School and throughout her elementary and middle school careers and has had great um, instruction by some phenomenal instructors throughout her tenure at, within the North Penn School District. Currently, I have a junior, Celeste, who is uh, with the uh, North Penn High School Wind Ensemble playing French horn. So it was indeed a, a, a tremendous pleasure for me to be here tonight, basically introducing uh, the performances. And without a doubt, I'm sure we're in for a phenomenal treat uh, regarding the, the great uh, musicianship that uh, exists uh, among these wind ensembles and these talented musicians, and of course the talented directors uh, that uh, have taken them to this point tonight. It is a little bit difficult to read here because the lights aren't that good. Uh, that being said, I'll do my best to get you through this evening. I would like to mention that uh, obviously this concert was supposed to take place Monday night. And because of logistical reasons, we've had to change the order. So even though all the information in your program books is correct, I'm going to ask you to keep in mind that the order of the, of the wind ensembles tonight is going to be a little bit different. So first, we will have the Penbrook Wind Ensemble, uh, followed by the Penfield Wind Ensemble, then the Pendale Wind Ensemble, and then the North Penn Elementary Wind Ensemble, and finally, uh, but obviously not least, is the North Penn High School Wind Ensemble. So again, the order is just a little bit different in your program books tonight, uh, but all the information is there. Okay, without further ado then, it is my pleasure to introduce the Penbrook Wind Ensemble. It's directed by Mr. James Markopoul. In his first year as director, Mr. Markopoul says he is in awe of the ability of these fine students and looks forward to every opportunity he has to work with them. The group will be performing two selections this evening, including Todd Stalter's Mechanism. It is a musical journey through a complex mechanical device that unfortunately has a wrench thrown into it and then clangs and sputters to a stop after an attempt to restart it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Penbrook Wind Ensemble.
The Pembroke Wind Ensemble will conclude with Bobsled Run by Lloyd Conley. As opposed to the competitive bobsleds we see in Olympic competition, earlier bobsleds, common on farms for many years, were made of two shorter sleds in tandem and usually pulled by horses through the snow across the countryside. This piece is a tribute to the excitement of those earlier rides. And on behalf of the Pembroke Wind Ensemble, Mr. Markopoul would like to thank Mr. New and Mr. DiValentino, and most of all, the Wind Ensemble parents for all they do to ensure this opportunity remains available to these talented musicians. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, their final piece, Bob Sled Run by Lloyd Conley, the Pembroke Wind Ensemble, under the direction of Mr. James Markopoul. For those of you who might have just uh, joined us, just a little background again, I had mentioned that uh, my daughter Maria is a senior at Westchester University uh, studying music education and she has the great privilege of being able to student teach this entire semester and she's at a high school uh, in that area which will remain nameless. Uh, she's having a wonderful time uh, trying to teach these young students who are very eager about music. One of the things she, she told me, and it's, it's great that she doesn't just text me, we actually do talk on the phone from time to time, which is very, very nice. One of the things that she told me is that, you know, Dad, honestly, I've gotten spoiled at North Penn. There's been such a dedication and focus on music with the, throughout the school district that I'm, I'm not necessarily seeing here. And I, you know, I tell her every day, I just make sure that, you know, as you get up and you try to teach these students that you actually just try to think really, really hard about how you can get them to increase their love of music. And I think that's one of the reasons why she wanted to get into the music program. She loves it so much and she wants to share that with the kids that she's trying to help. But we are very, very uh, fortunate throughout this district to have such great music educators uh, and people who truly inspire music. Um, and, and it's just neat to, to see her now, you know, blossoming and hopefully having that effect on other people throughout, uh, obviously, uh, the Westchester area and hopefully someday beyond. Uh, nonetheless, on with the show, and that is uh, now, if you wouldn't mind putting up the lights a little bit, I'd like, like to get uh, some lights on these young ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before Mr. Thompson comes out, I'd love to see the house lights up a bit. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is the Penfield Wind Ensemble, and it is under the direction of Mr. Chris Thompson. Penfield season began in November and will conclude in May with a performance at the Kimmel Center for the Performing Arts in Philadelphia. 
Mr. Thompson would like to acknowledge all of the private teachers that are in the audience this evening. Thank you for helping our ensemble for be from behind the scenes. Penfield's first selection is the main title theme from the movie Schindler's List, composed by John Williams. This 1993 film, which won seven Oscars, including Best Film Score, depicts the story of Oscar Schindler, a greedy German businessman who becomes an unlikely humanitarian amid the barbaric Nazi reign when he feels compelled to turn his factory into a refuge for Jews. Through his heroic efforts, Schindler managed to save roughly 1,100 Jews from being gassed at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Fee Abdebakun will be featured on solo violin. He is also a member of the Philadelphia Youth Orchestra and regularly performs with that group. Under the direction of Mr. Chris Thompson, please welcome the Penfield Wind Ensemble.
Penfield will conclude with The Lords of Greenwich, an original work in the style of an authentic British folk tune inspired by the music of Gustav Holst and Ralph Vaughan Williams. The work opens with a jaunty theme, moves to an expressive ballad, and quickly transitions to the final theme, which recalls the music of British military brass bands. You will hear from soloist Matthew Kratz on baritone horn, Brenna Visby and Lindsay Durkin on the flute, and Shakabur Rahman. Shakabur Rahman. Sorry about that, Shak. Go get him, bud.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Mr. Christopher Thompson, the Penfield Wind Ensemble. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. The Pendale Wind Ensemble is under the direction of the incomparable, the man who needs no introduction, Mr. Ted Heller. Let's hear from Mr. Ted Heller. <laughs> the Pendale, <laughs> love you too, babe. The Pendale Wind Ensemble will be performing on a hymn song of Philip Bliss by David Holzinger and Galileo's vision of Ralph Ford. But we're not doing that one yet. We're going to do this one. Hymn Song of Philip Bliss by David Holsinger, the Pendale Wind Ensemble under the direction of Mr. Ted Heller.
The Pendale Wind Ensemble will be performing its final piece entitled Galileo's Vision by Ralph Ford. Galileo Galilei, born in 1564 in Pisa, Italy, is considered by many scientists and acad acad academicians. Did you write this? <laughs> it says academicians. To be the world's first modern astronomer. Through his vision, Galileo constructed many new devices for observation, including the microscope, the thermoscope, and the telescope, with which he discovered moons of Jupiter. During his lifetime, he was often denounced for his observations of the motion of the Earth, among other things. Ladies and gentlemen, again, under the direction of Mr. Ted Heller, the Pendale Wind Ensemble performing Galileo's Vision by Ralph Ford.
Penn Elementary Wind Ensemble is pleased to debut its 11th season this evening under the co-direction of Mr. James Markiple and Mr. Christopher Thompson. This ensemble is comprised of the top fourth, fifth, and sixth grade instrumental students from Bridal Path, General Nash, Montgomery, and Walton Farm Elementary Schools. The Elementary Wind Ensemble season runs from early January through the end of March and concludes with a concert on Tuesday, March 24th at Pembroke Middle School. This group's featured composer this evening is one of our favorites, Mr. Robert Sheldon, and our first selection is The Fires of Bandai. This work was inspired by the 1888 eruption of Mount Bandai in northern Japan. Without further ado, the North Penn Elementary Wind Ensemble. Morning Mist is the group's second selection. This beautiful work is a musical portrait of a misty morning, complete with the hope and promise of a new day. Ladies and gentlemen, the North Penn Elementary Wind Ensemble performing Morning Mist.
Elementary Wind Ensemble will conclude with March of the Hyperion Guards, which was inspired by Greek mythology, beginning ominously in a minor key. The tuneful main theme leads to a contrasting major section in the style of a British march, then returns home to the minor opening for a powerful conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, the North Penn Elementary Wind Ensemble performing the March of the Hyperion Guards. Wind Ensemble is the premier instrumental ensemble in the North Penn High School band program. The ensemble is a major level class at the high school and its members are selected annually by audition. The ensemble has established itself as one of the finest high school concert bands in this part of the country with a list of performance credits that is truly remarkable. In recent years, the ensemble has performed at the 2010 and 2014 PMEA state conferences the 2011 and 2013 Mid-Atlantic Honors Wind Band Festivals, and the 2012 Music for All National Festival. Later this month, they will make their third appearance at the Mid-Atlantic Honors Wind Band Festival, and in April, they will perform at the NAFME Eastern Division Conference in Providence, Rhode Island. The North Penn Band Program is a 2014 National Band Association Divisional Program of Excellence winner. Their conductor, Mr. Michael A. Britcher, has also been honored by the National Band Association with their citation of excellence for his contributions to wind band teaching. Mr. Britcher and the Wind Ensemble would like to express their appreciation to our district and building administration for their continued support of our musical endeavors. Our set begins with the music of Pennsylvania composer Jack Stamp. His Aubrey fanfare is dedicated to the memory of Fisher Aubrey Tall from 1934 to 1994 and is a celebration of his music and his wonderful gifts to the band world. Tull was professor of music at Sam Houston University and a teacher, mentor, and friend of the composer. The North Penn High School Wind Ensemble.
The blue hour is an oft poeticized moment of the day, a lingering twilight that halos the sky after sundown, but before complete darkness sets in. It is a time of day known for its romantic, spiritual, and ethereal connotations. And this magical moment has frequented inspired artists to attempt to capture its remarkable essence. This is the same essence that inhabits the sonic world of John Mackey's Hymn to a Blue Hour. The piece is composed largely from three recurring motives. First, a cascade of falling thirds. Second, a stepwise descent that provides a musical sigh. And third, the descent's reverse, an ascent that imbues hopeful optimism. From the basic framework of these motives stated at the outset of the work, a beautiful duet emerges between horn and euphonium, creating a texture spun together into a pillow-like blanket of sound, reminiscent of similar constructions elicited by great American melodists of the 20th century, such as Samuel Barber. This melody superimposes a sensation of joy over the otherwise blue emotive context, a melodic line that over a long period of time spins the work to a point of catharsis. In this climactic moment, the colors are at their brightest, enveloping their surroundings with an angelic glow. Alas, as is the case with the magical blue hour, the moment cannot last for long, and just as steadily as they arrived, the colors dissipate into the encroaching darkness, eventually succumbing at the work's conclusion with a sense of great peaceful repose. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the North Penn High School Wind Ensemble per, uh, performing the Hymn to a Blue Hour.
Jacques Press's wedding dance is a spirited hurrah, or traditional Jewish circle dance, from his symphonic suite entitled Hasana, The Wedding. Composed in 1955 and arranged for band in 1967 by Herbert Johnston, this lively piece displays an infectious energy and quick tempo. With whirling woodwind lines and memorable melodies, the work exudes a fiery energy and relentless pulse. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacques Press's Wedding Dance. We conclude our performance with the music of the one and only John Philip Sousa. One of Sousa's favorite sayings was, a horse, a dog, a gun, a girl, and music on the side. That is my idea of heaven. When all of his March titles are examined, Sousa's appreciation of the fairer sex is obvious. In this instance, the subject was a pretty girl who worked at the annual Boston Food Fair. Even though the March King never met the young lady, her memory inspired this title when he was preparing a new march for the food fair in 1908. The work is generally regarded as one of the most melodic and best written marches. We hope you enjoy Fairest of the Fair.
and gentlemen, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to thank you all for adjusting to our schedule this week. I know the concert was supposed to be Monday. I know we had to juggle some family schedules to get the concert in this evening. What a wonderful evening. Um, you know, the future of this ensemble is in very, very, very good hands. Um, all of the ensembles that performed tonight did a wonderful job. I want to thank uh, my colleagues, the band directors here in the North Penn School District uh, from elementary on up uh, for such a wonderful, wonderful job that they all do on a daily basis. It just makes life so easy for me when they get to the high school. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, please drive carefully on the way home, and we look forward to seeing you all again real soon. Thank you.